Welcome to Kama Jojo Wild World. You'll find the most exciting preys and the best outdoor equipment here. If this is your first visit to our channel, you can subscribe to us. Bears enter a state of torpor, also known as denning, during the winter months in order to conserve energy and resources. During this time, they will sleep for an extended period of time, typically lasting several months. Bears do not eat, drink, or defecate during their winter sleep, as their bodies are able to break down their fat reserves for energy. Female bears give birth and nurse their cubs during the winter sleep. Bears will find a denning site, which can be a cave, hollow tree, or dugout, and will line it with grass, leaves, or other materials to provide insulation. Black bears are more likely to den in trees, while brown bears and grizzly bears are more likely to den in caves or dugouts. Polar bears do not den during the winter, as they live in a frozen environment where they are able to hunt seals and other prey. Some bears, such as sun bears and sloth bears, do not den during the winter and will remain active throughout the season. So how many interesting things do you know about bear in winter? Bear hibernation is a fascinating and unique biological process that allows bears to survive the winter months when food is scarce. Here are some interesting and fun facts about bear hibernation. Not all bears hibernate. While bears are known for their wintertime slumber, not all species of bears hibernate. Polar bears, for example, do not hibernate because they live in a region where there is no winter. Hibernation is not the same as sleep. While bears do sleep a lot during hibernation, it is not the same as regular sleep. Hibernation is a state of torpor, where the bear's body temperature, heart rate, and metabolism all drop significantly. This allows the bear to conserve energy and survive the winter with minimal food intake. Bears gain weight before hibernating. In preparation for hibernation, bears will eat as much as they can to pack on extra pounds. This fat is then burned off during the winter months as the bear's body uses it for energy. Hibernation helps bears avoid predators. During the winter, many of the bear's natural predators, such as wolves and humans, are less active. By hibernating, bears are able to avoid these predators and emerge in the spring when they are more active. Hibernation is not always continuous. While bears do sleep a lot during hibernation, they do not sleep continuously. They may wake up every few weeks to urinate or defecate and then go back to sleep. Female bears give birth during hibernation. Female bears are able to give birth during hibernation, and their cubs are born blind and helpless. The mother bear will nurse the cubs and protect them until they are ready to emerge from the den in the spring. Hibernation helps bears survive extreme temperatures. During the winter, temperatures in many areas where bears live can drop to extreme lows. By hibernating, bears are able to survive these harsh temperatures and conserve energy. Bears can awaken quickly from hibernation. Despite being in a state of torpor, bears can awaken quickly if they sense danger. This allows them to protect themselves and their cubs if necessary. Hibernation is not just for winter. Some species of bears, such as black bears, may also enter a state of torpor during hot summer months in order to conserve energy and survive times of food scarcity. Bears are not the only animals that hibernate. While bears are well known for their ability to hibernate, they are not the only animals that do so. Other animals that hibernate include bats, groundhogs, and some species of rodents. Well, bear hibernation is a fascinating and unique biological process that allows bears to survive the winter months when food is scarce. From gaining weight before hibernating to giving birth during hibernation, bears have evolved numerous adaptations to make it through the cold winter months. Hibernation is not just limited to bears, however, and many other animals also have the ability to enter a state of torpor in order to survive extreme conditions. Thanks for your time. You can subscribe to us if you like what we do.